How much can one family take? First, the death of a loved one, then a devastating house fire where they lost everything. Tonight, police and fire investigators are involved, and there's more to this hardship. As News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us, you won't believe what happened next. Can we all agree there are bad days and then there are really, really bad weeks? And unfortunately, that's something the Bratcher family in Murfreesboro knows about all too well. Yeah, that's a good day to walk. There's never a good time for a house fire, but here the timing was especially awful coming as the Bratcher family was mourning the death of a beloved grandfather. Lost uh, him Monday. Just days later, their Murfreesboro home of three decades, gone. Then Thursday, lost the house. It burned completely to the ground. The family went to a nearby hotel. Friends and family rallied, donating what they needed. Everything that we have on, including the baby, is all donated clothes. The family stored the donated items they badly needed in their truck. Things were looking up, and then security cameras barely caught a thief in action. So when he couldn't raise it up, he dirted it down like that, and he crawled under and took everything out. So in the span of just a few days, this family lost a loved one, lost their home, and lost the donations they needed to get by. I honestly feel like there's so much bad stuff going on that our faith in God is being tested. But they never lost it. For one, the Bratchers were thankful they weren't home when the house fire hit. They were heartbroken they lost their pet cat. But when they returned to sift through the ashes, look who was leading their way out. Somehow Princess the Cat was waiting. She was the only one home that night. Mm -hmm. She hid underneath the hot tub. For Penny Bratcher, Princess surviving was something of a sign. I, I just think that God never puts more on our plate than we can handle. He just never says how big our plate is. And the Bratcher families is pretty darn big. They know that no one was hurt. They now do have more donations and the home was insured. They plan to rebuild. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Well, that's good news. Thanks, Nick. Investigators do believe the house fire was caused by a possible uh, electrical malfunction. The thief who stole the donated goods remains at large.